Welcome to the official AFL Fantasy Podcast with the Traders. G'day, we're the Traders. Thanks to Sportsbet. I'm Roy. I coach Destroy and I'm here with Warnie. Coach of the Wandogs. And Calvin. Coach Calvin had it back in his box. <laughs> back in his box. Back in his box. <laughs> oh, boy, Look, yoy, yoy. The oh, yeah. king of the buys. Well, buy specialist. Buy specialist. Uh, a bit reckless through the buys, Roy, as you've only just <laughs> you got starting. away with it last week. You did get away with it last week. Well, yes, I did. But uh, yeah, crashing back to earth, old Calvinator oh, over uh, here. Hey, it. sometimes when you play cowball, yeah, that's it. You lose wickets. Well, if you're going to hit sixes every every week, Roy, you are going to occasionally nick one to every the keeper. Every now and then it will bite you on the backside. There you go. All right, round 17's done. So we're down to seven weeks to go until Woo! the end of the season <laughs> as we limp to the finish line here on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. Another high-scoring round it was. It, and high. it wasn't, well, Roy, you were big again. Well, I don't know if it's again. Every now and then I pop up with a respectable score. So 24-96. Couldn't get there, could you? As usual. (laughs) As usual. Just pulls up short of a milestone. Um, But that was enough to get me back to 3-1. So I came in about 1,000 spots on that. Definitely above par then to be. Yes. uh, There were a lot of coaches sort of knocking on that door of that 2,500. Mm. So definitely was a good score wherever you were, I reckon. So Yes. I was next with a 23.76, so still, well, what's that, 120 points behind you, but it moved me up from my 13.5k oh, just inside oh, 13k no. You're now. coming for him. Yeah, I'm not oh, far hang off. hang on. It's 120 points, he I think, behind you. can be coming for me when I was out to 30. Well, you came, to, you came for me. Yeah, that was uh, that was different. That was through the buy specialist round. This rounds. is an old fashioned standoff, isn't this it? Is. Emma, yeah. <laughs> bang, bang. Yeah. I know where uh, I, I know where I'll be at the end of the season. I, I, ahead of me, of course. <laughs> How many times has it actually please, happened? Please, in our career. It doesn't matter. It's about 2023, Dom. Yeah, I know. I like to pull back to uh, the past to work stuff out. I wonder what the no odds way. would be. Oh, I'm fave. I'd like yeah, to, to see. To win. I'm going to get sports bet to run something. Yeah, like that. they should. <laughs> Good. Right. How many times have you beat me? Uh, last year? No. Year before that? Oh, yes. You actually did. Yeah, let's go. Uh, no. <laughs> No, no, yes. Okay. Oh, yes. There was, oh, three. No, then. no. You've done it three times in the last decade. See, let's ca- round it up to four. Cowball, it's not always consistent. No. But when you're hitting them well, when you're seeing them. That's it. Oh, I'm surprised you think you've got me covered. I do. I've got you When, when I was 30,000, right, and you were... Laughing at you. Whatever. Yeah, you were <laughs> laughing, and that's fine. <laughs> but here I am. Yes. Anyway, I scored 23-21, which was about 55 there behind the wall. Slight slide. and yeah, It was a little bit of a slide and a truckload behind Destroy. But, Roy, mm. round 18 is yeah. all mine. Here it is! That's what you did, did he? You stuck it right up them! Uh, probably what got me over you in the end, Cow, was my Zachary oh, Merritt. See, this is ridiculous. How is it ridiculous? He's one of the best players in the competition. <laughs> he just, he's, he's very good, isn't he? All Australian captain, he will be this year. That's Is that three 150s in like about the last six weeks? Yeah. He's done quite a few. He's a very good player. He actually Damn, didn't that look at ceiling. that. He must be hitting close to the mill. Oh, he's over a mill. Is he? Yeah, I tried to go <laughs> shopping last night. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm, good thing I picked him up cheaper than that. None <laughs> of you guys will get him, will you? I don't think we're going to get close I don't to him. think I'll bother with that now, no. <laughs> I'm going to give mine to Jordan Dawson because I knew heading into Sunday, a lot Skip of people up. had already locked in their captains. And oh, I, yeah. you know, last week I said, I'm not playing the cheating vice captain game. Yeah. <laughs> so Dacos comes out and gets a 112. Yep. And I was like, nah, come on. I'm you know, better than that. Gentlemen's agreement here, lads. And I took it on. And I know you guys, and we'll talk about this in a minute too, you conniving little thieves. What? Um, <laughs> you guys went with uh, Lockie Neal, yeah. right? And I went with my number one, which was Jordan Dawson. Yeah. Now, the question I've got for you, dog, mm-hmm. and you, no, yes. more you, more you. What's wrong with me? So I went and I beat the Nuffy too. Yes, you did. Smashed him. Smashed by a point, wasn't it? Hey, points a point. Points a point. <laughs> points a point. Um, where did Neil rank for me, dog? Don't know. I didn't look. Where at did it. Uh, Where did Zach Merritt rank? I looked at all the other uh, coaches out there putting out their <laughs> captain. There tips you go. And see where they ranked Lockie Neil. 
Where did they rank no, Lockie Neal? I reckon Neal? you missed something in your research. Where'd they, where'd they have him? You did, did my Lockie Neal score more than every other player I had higher than him on the list? Do you have Zach Merritt? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, no. Zach Merritt was there at number four on the list. Oh. Number four. Dog. I was worried about Ben Keys. Shouldn't have been, but I was worried about Ben was Keys. Was my top five worried about Ben Keys? I reckon there would have been a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> a worry. Slight concern. Slight concern. But once there you go. You could have been in front of me this week if only you listened to me. Here I am trying to help people. I'm trying to help you be better, but every week... No, I know better. I know better. I have noticed Doggy's questioning you a bit lately. Yeah. Oh, it's fair, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's... Him. So, yeah, well, 128. <laughs> 128. I question your personal hygiene as well. <laughs> <laughs> and am I right there? <laughs> yes, I am right. Yes. Uh, now, Destroy. Yes. Your plus three. Yeah. What have you done here? Well, God. You're welcome again. <laughs> oh, everybody. There's a new prince in town. No. <laughs> hey. Look, okay. Yes, Tom Stewart, 15 minutes left, sitting on the bench on a score of 70. Yeah. Now, you know if you've got a mediocre type score and you sit still for two seconds, I'm loading up a rocket and firing it straight between your eyes. So I fired it at him, didn't I? Are you? Yeah, and I wasn't angry at his 70, but I just went bang. Yep. And I nailed him an absolute ripper. All I did, I just, you know how I've been trying to coach people. I'm not selfish. I coach how to send rockets. Yes. People don't listen. <laughs> yeah. You've got to understand, and I sound like a broken record, they need to be individualised programs. Yep. Different people respond differently. Yep. There's no point getting angry at Tom and sending him an angry one. Oh, yeah. He'll do nothing. Yeah. Like, he'll respond like that. Are there players that would respond to an angry one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right, sometimes right. you just got to know how to niggle them. All I said was activate junk. Yeah. Bang. Do you want to hear some numbers? Yes, please. Yes. Yes. Okay, so uh, he's gone 20 points, 28 points, 16 points in his first three quarters. Oh, my God. No wonder you loaded it up. He had a tackle at the 2 minute 58 second of the last quarter. Yep. Didn't touch it again <laughs> until the 17 minute mark where he only got a handball. Yep. But then he went. He had, <laughs> from the 20 minute mark. Yep. Tell him. 20-minute mark. He has had 41 no, points. No, he didn't. Go on. <laughs> oh, Roy. That's a pat on the back. I tell you what, it blew my Twitter up with just grateful coaches going, oh my goodness. unbelievable. There may be a new prince in town. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Um, I couldn't have been prouder of Tom, though. Like, he took the feedback. Yep. He wore the rocket. Well, okay. he couldn't get out of the way of it. So, here I am delivering great captain's advice. You're yep. firing off tremendous rockets. Yes. Dog, what are you bringing? Um, not a lot. Except, <laughs> I will beat you this year. That's all I want to try to do. I'll spill up! It was the most disgraceful display I've ever seen. Because it's just not acceptable! No, I am actually bringing some things. Some poor players. Oh, great. <laughs> Who have you got? Now, we've got a rule we don't give this to rookies. You can't know. We've got a rule about rookies in round 17, dog. It's got nothing to do with not Matt giving Johnson them. getting subbed out for 14. So you, he can get a pass. He's a rookie. The okay, rule is you don't rookie. have them. He's right. The we rule should. is you do not have them at this stage. How many Who is he? Matt Johnson? If you don't recognise a player, you should I not have them at this Number stage. Number 44. I don't, think I don't think I'd recognise him, Roy. You don't have him, though. Uh, uh, <laughs> moving on. Yeah. Not anymore, anyway. Oh, well, on not your since, bench. Not yeah. since lockout lifted. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> that was the one nice thing about cancelling our players in our matchup on the weekend to beat you. I think you had <laughs> Johnson as well. You're both. Hey, um, the qu- oh, okay, Roy. God. <laughs> Does, I've got him. <laughs> now, I've been saying that she's was not a rookie, so I can give it to him. Look, he reminded us all that he is. But, Roy, yes. Geelong in Geelong. Yeah, yeah tough. tough. If you're ever going to forgive a mm. rookie, yeah. a gun rookie, mm. that's the matchup to forgive. Oh, and he's, like, just quickly looking forward, his run ahead is... Tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah. I didn't like that forward time for him, though. No, I? that's the issue. So he was thrown mm. forward a little bit. And, yeah, it sort of all came about after... Probably Zeeble came on or subbed into the game. Mm. It's an issue. It's an issue. But I'm going to give him the pass that it's Geelong 
in Geelong. So which one are you? But he's not a rookie. rookie are you so but he's a rookie. Yeah. We, we, have you got three rookies to choose from this well, week? Well, is Harrelson Himmelberg a rookie? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's him. okay. 75. I needed 10 more points. Yeah. And he would have got those if he didn't bloody give away free kicks. So he gave away four free kicks. Yeah, yeah okay. Good. That's disappointing from the bird. Because otherwise, the stat line was all right. 16 kicks, six handballs, yeah. six marks, a couple of tackles. And I've heard you say, Roy, over the weekend that, you know, back a few rounds ago, a 75 from the Berg at the price that he was, yeah. you're like, yeah, that's acceptable. But at yes. the moment, basically, that needs to be a 90. It feels like that's yeah. the base score, With isn't the scores it? that people are having. Mm. Uh, exactly. And that's the issue. And that's where you can learn a little bit out of this year is well, there's not much you can help from bad luck or whatever. No. Some bad decisions that you make you can learn from. But unless you are really... Firing on all cylinders now. Yeah. You are going to just fall those few points or 100 points behind yes. the people that have got the completed sides, as we like to call them. <laughs> okay. I'll stop hating on people without rookies so much, guys. <laughs> now, now, Roy. Yeah. How many rockets do you have in your artillery? Look, I've got a few. I don't like to waste them. Okay. But I've got a few. Can you run out? You can run out. You can run out. Yeah. And that's something... Um, the people at home, they, they also don't understand. You can't yeah. just fire them off willy-nilly. Yeah. And I also can't fire them unless I'm going to benefit directly okay. <laughs> from the fired rocket. My negative three leads into this. Did right. you ever consider R- yes. firing a rocket at Tom Green? Oh. 63, 69 points. Do you know what? It's a great question. Sometimes I have to make a choice, and it's a hard choice to make. It's professional judgment. It is. If they are completely beyond help yeah. and looking like they've never played footy Foot- before. Yep, I hear you. The rocket... It's not going to work. It won't work, no. even if it hits them. Does ownership come into that as well? Because surely Sometimes. most would have him. Sometimes. Sometimes ownership does come into it, dog. Yes, that is, that right. is a oh, it, I know it definitely comes into it if you don't own them. <laughs> <laughs> that does, actually. So, Roy, in your amazing team that nearly scored 2,500, do you have anybody that's worth a negative throw? Oh, 100%. Yeah, Tom Green, like you, he was oh, yes. worthy yeah. of the negative three. But I'm giving it to Bad Hole, Hole Cameron. Oh. Meanwhile, I'm watching Das variety of yes, holes. Yes. Absolutely killing it. That's yep. who used to be there. Um, so Cameron had 55 or so at half time in the easiest mm. matchup for Ruckman there is against Tim English. Yep. Slight knock, I'm going to call it. Yeah. Early in the third. But. His gait after that, I'm calling it a gait. Yep. I don't know what it was when he tried to run. Obviously kept him from scoring. He barely had 20 points in the second half. Yeah, okay. I get off the ground and stay off. I would have preferred 55 and you, mm. and I don't have to look at that. Yeah, right. So he gets the negative three and I'll hopefully trade him for it this week. You will. Mm. You brutal now, I'm man. at a point where I'm thinking, if you get negative three for me, oh. you're, you're out. Oh. Yeah. Right, now, this is a good time for us to congratulate old Pendles. Didn't he love it when he got his uh, oh, yeah. record-breaking good, disposal and then went a little streak of just cheap, cheap, cheap <laughs> he did. possessions, which was really nice of him. But got me thinking about where does this sit for uh, fantasy numbers? So I slid into the DMs of my old mate Swampy because, you know, we're tight. We follow each other. Are you that Swampy tight? Swampy you. Yeah. Are you that does tight? He? Yeah. So you know, I watch you send out little lines to Swamp, but he doesn't reply to you. No, he writes back. <laughs> Does he? When have oh, I wait, ever written? I don't think I've ever written to him. Oh, oh, you just oh, no. look at you on the defensive. He writes back. I don't think I've ever written <laughs> I can't to even him. Remember. <laughs> oh no, I'm confused with Dr. Carl. Oh, Dr. Carl. Oh, yeah. Dr. Carl you and, and You and Carl. <laughs> now, right, what did he say? What did he say? He said... He can see quite well. <laughs> he said that Pendles already has the record for most fantasy points. Oh, By right. a long way. Oh, so, there you go. Um, Great question, dog. 36,887 he's got. Swamp would have been, what an idiot. Yeah, <laughs> Boomer. Not in the game, mate. So he's got him by over 1,000 oh, po- oh, points to Boomer. 35,753. Then it's Ablett, Selwood, Kevin Bartlett. So Kevin Bartlett never played fantasy. <laughs> yeah, well, he was smart about, um, what, about what he did, Kicked though. Kicked the handball. Kicked the handball ratio. <laughs> he knew he got the extra point there. But, uh, anyway, I reckon Pendle's got two years left in him. Yeah, okay. Right. So he only has to average 77.8. That's if he plays, you know, 20 yeah. games a year. So that's even missing yeah. a couple. Mm. And that'll get him to 40,000. Now, oh my. that will never God. be beaten. Yes, it will. Who by? Nick. Old Nick. 
think <laughs> yeah. Nick will beat that. Nick can beat that. What's Nick got to do then? Oh well, if he play gets forty thousand, that's averaging a hundred. Is it? Is that he'll, right? He'll easily get that. Far out. He's yeah, a very good player, isn't he? I'm with but you. Pendles, that's a, that's amazing. That was. This is the bizarre thing about Pendles. It's years ago we talked about him being so disrespected for how good he's been for so long. Yeah. And now we are still talking about it. Yeah. This many years later, as he just keeps ticking them over. Yeah. yeah. He, he probably should have been snouted there at one point. Yeah. What about back in the days mm. where he was a captain option? And yeah. The Swan, mm. the Swan Pendles. Yeah. Field Martel, day. Corey, Abler. Yeah, elite. Good on him anyway. What was your symbol for Pendles? It was the Mo. The, the Mo. Mo. When he had his Mo. That's yeah. it. We've got to bring them back. And yeah. then I have to work about The Swan. Yeah. The Nothing Mo. better than a, a live show. Yeah. Well, I know people <laughs> are, are tuning in. <laughs> uh, I'll explain later. Who, who is your number? Who, what would Dawson be? Ooh. It's like a door. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, son. <laughs> Dawson. No. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah. 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 Who else is up there? Lead? Or lead has to be something like like a little nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? Yeah. That'd be something like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah anyway, that's a conversation for another day when I don't <laughs> to have to think on the spot. Those. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, speaking of big scores, uh, Jonathan's flea baggers scored a 25 46, which has held him onto the top spot there. 25 46. When you're leading the way doing that. Yes. Um, the Wise Ocean Pods in second with a 2502. Um, and Love at First Glance into third with a 2513. But all those big dogs are scoring very well. Mm. Um, Dr. Drill, old mate Schofield's head on there. Uh, he's still up there in fourth. Uh, Bindi's Blues. Had a 24-45, um, but in fifth spot. And Matty Mottram in sixth at the moment with a 24 Yeah, uh, you know 60. why? Why? He had Jake Lloyd, I think. Oh, he did too. Yeah. yeah. So mm. it's so. a Jake Lloyd bullet, I saw him tweet. So it, ju- it just shows that even champion fantasy players like Matt and myself cop bullets <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> I did love this. Um, so, Crab Cakes, that was a winning team of the round with a 26-23. 26-23, Roy. Oh, you got 300 on your V8. You're printing that off and framing it. You are. That's um, huge. The Daddy Horses, Shaz, at a 26-13. Must have been a late change because our mate Cameron, yeah. who was the unlucky mug a couple of years oh, yeah. ago, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, told us he was unlucky because he came second. Yeah. No, he came third. That's where the late chat. Poor old Cam. He He's like it. a new age bad luck Brian. Yeah. That guy. <laughs> Catch a break. <laughs> uh, very good. All right, let's look at the cash cow numbers for or the votes for round 17 and who we've got there. Will Ashcroft. I was pretty stoked to have the five vote getter scoring a fantasy ton for me in that juicy West Coast matchup this week. He was in and under, doing it all. Yeah, Darcy Wilmot. So he was also in that game. He finished with 76 and he gets the four votes. He loves a goal. Loves a snag. Uh, eight tackles helped Anthony Caminiti take home the three votes for his 71. Now, popular bench defender Campbell Chesser from the Eagles. He gets the two votes for his 66 points. Josh Weddle, the one vote. So it goes to Big Wed Dog. 20 disposals. And he racked up 63 points. So you good. take that. Now, the leaderboard has Will Ashcroft closing the gap slightly Ooh. on Harry Sheasel, uh, which is incredibly just his third round that Shees didn't poll a vote. Amazing. Unbelievable. Here's the news of the week you need to know on the official AFL Fantasy Podcast. All right, the news that we've got, uh, we mentioned just before there, poor old Matt Mottram had Jake Lloyd. Now, he'll be missing this week, so that'll be a forced trade there. Mm. He was concussed, but he was on fire. He was. He was. Uh, 30 80 ad from his 24% time on ground, but yeah, Big Nank cleaned him up. God, he's been disappointing, Lloyd, and then he yeah. had the matchup. And he was actually getting it done. He was. So that's brutal. Also in that game, we saw Angus Sheldrick have a bit of an ankle issue. So a popular rookie that... Are you playing him on field, Cal? Uh, he he has a turn there from time <laughs> to time, yes. <laughs> um, so he hurt his ankle, but he played it out because mm. Lloyd was already subbed out. Um, so he scored 46. And he had the 54% time on ground for that. Now, Jacob Bauer, unlucky oh. dude, uh, very early doing his hamstring. And he was... Very upset there on the bench. I he reckon. was making his debut and 
just he got was a couple of kicks quickly. too. And then bang, all over too quickly. Now, Lockie Keith, uh, he hurt his hammy in for the Giants. That is, um, and that is something that will be an issue for them, and maybe their backload a little bit because also Haynes, who was their sub, came on, and then he's now going to miss because mm. he got suspended unless they challenge. Keith chops out in the ruck too, yeah. so. Be interesting to see Ooh, what they do. Flinberger yeah, coming in. That would be a big worry. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. 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 Xeri, come back in. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Now for the Saints. <laughs> What's wrong with you two? Uh, <laughs> the Saints had a few a issues. This was brutal for them on Saturday night. So Zane Cordy can cast Seb Ross Hammy, but probably a big one there is Max King with his shoulder. He's out for the season now that they've said for him. So um it, are there any little concerns about old yes. Rohan Marshall? Well, kind of. There's rarely a concern about someone coming off at 150. Yeah. But Big Campbell. dum de dum He gets in the emergencies all the time. He does. And now they are a big down. Yep. Um, there is a world where Marshall plays more forward. And they bring in Campbell. And Campbell comes in. Because the other one they've got there is Jack Hayes. So Campbell, um, Jack Hayes, I think it might have been his first game in the VFL on the weekend because he was a test last week on the injury. He had 13 disposals, six tackles and 71 points. Oh, that's all right. um, Well, that's enough. Five past Campbell. Yeah, Yeah. and Campbell had a good game. 24 disposals, 39 hitouts and 114. That sounds like a good rucking effort. It is. Mm. What about my boy, Well, that's what they might need him to do. Well, that's it. Max Heath. Stop it. Maxie Heath's been all right. He's been in there. He's been in there, so maybe he gets a run up for Lose your loophole. Yeah. (laughs) That's right. Hey. (laughs) Yes, you're right. I will lose my loophole. (laughs) Surely you've got a lot of loophole. Uh, No, I've got a lot of green dots, to be honest. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Killing it. They're all on your field. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I've got less rookies on field than you. Not after this week, old mate. How many have you got this week, then? Um, The only two that I've got, Ashcroft and Sheasel, but they're not rookies. Uh, (laughs) Okay. Who do you have? He never learns. Hey? Who do you have? Johnson, (laughs) Sheldrick. No, no, no. Just stick to the script. We're going through these injuries. (laughs) Don't don't jump off track, mate. You'll confuse everybody. (gasps) The cannon was subbed out. Oh, With an ankle cannon. injury in the first quarter. Now, Griffin Logue hurt his knee. Uh, could be an ACL, um, from what I heard on the radio this morning. Anyway, um, so Zebul, who was the sub, came on at that point. Now, Jai Simpkin, I was going into this game watching him because we'll talk about the scale of hardness a little bit later. Mm. Ooh, good. Just thinking of his price, but A, he didn't look any good, and then he was concussed <sighs> at half time. Next so. year. He's going to be super cheap. We're starting with that. I um, reckon we will too. So, yeah. So, he was out of the game and if it was concussion, therefore he's not playing this week either. Uh, in the Bombers, a mighty win. Jordan Ridley was very good and then he hurt his knee and he did come back on. So, he'll be having some scans. So, that'll be something to monitor for the draft coach. He looked um, he looked done and dusted. Yeah, oh, definitely. When that happened, mm. you're like, that's it. Mm. Yeah. Then he came on, he was hobbling. Oh, hopefully he's all right. Matt Kennedy also hurt his knee, so he was dominating that game, the last game of the round there. Uh, he had 86, and that was just in 45% time on ground. <sighs> in the roll, that's been what a, he can do. Too right, he can. Would have been a good pick. Remember we did tipping? Remember who I said would win that game and got laughed at and ridiculed and bullied? and? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. You would have got all nine right there yeah, this week. Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. That's what I do. Wow. That's why we do a tipping segment now, so people can hear who I'm tipping. <laughs> um, MRO, we mentioned that. There's Nank going to the tribunal three weeks, uh, or three plus. That's why he gets sent there, pretty much, is what they say. Haynes, cop the week. We don't know if he's accepting that at this point. Uh, but Andrew Phillips, he's probably likely to be cited. So the Bombers could be going in with a very ordinary ruck wow. lineup this week. Yeah, against out. Geelong. Stanley. <laughs> Go Stanley, he'll have a day out. <laughs> Blix. See, Blix got subbed out as yeah. well. He played just and over. I saw someone yeah. whinging about it or whatever. He had 105 and got subbed out in the third quarter. But it was in like 55% <laughs> yeah, game that's time. What I mean. like, like, so I guess they're winning nothing because wrong with that, a 150, that could have been a 150 yeah. easily. But, Unbelievable. Yeah, you know, geez. If you had a 105 next to Blix's name, if you've had him in your team and you see a 105 next to his name without you knowing usually just time on ground and sub, you go, I will take that so, every day of the week. So that was a rest, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even tactical. Danger played limited minutes as well. And he was good. So Gosh, I think it's go. more reflective of their opponent, Roy. Yeah. Just want to mention a couple of uh, my red dots on my bench for Magoo's News. <laughs> oh, Josh Fay had 108. Yeah, you always do. So, did he? Yeah. yeah he's still I'm going to say that's unders. Getting it done. Yeah. Uh, it's and oh, yeah, Jackson Binns. Oh, Binsy. 31 here. Well, there's a spot now. 
Yeah. Mm. Oh, he could Kennedy. come in, yeah. Oh, don't give he him that. He could come in. <laughs> oh, look at him. Come now. on. <laughs> Get excited, Tom. Maybe I'll just play him on field. Well, uh, you might as well. Yeah. Just add an extra rookie on field. Get yeah, him. hey, yeah. do it. Is that kind of, yeah? <laughs> Silly season. <laughs> One is king uh, of the kids. <laughs> the <laughs> daycare with dog. <laughs> The other bit of news this week was that we had a, another massive, massive, massive batch of dual, batch of dual position <laughs> Yeah, players let's through. go. Do we have time to read them all? Oh, uh, go real quick. I reckon we will. There are only 10. So, oh. yeah, not a big list this time, which often happens in our round 17 or ahead of round 18. A lot of DPPs. Uh, the key ones there, we won't go through them all, but not the... You always look for the midfielders that get an extra status. They're the most important ones. So Devin Robertson gains forward status. If he's on your bench, it might hold him mm. into your team. So then you've got cover yeah. in those positions. God, you're trying to sell something that's not worth selling here. <laughs> oh, no. Down. People did pick him up, though. As <laughs> yeah, no, I'm only giving you a hard time. Keep uh, Harry Perriman. Pass. He picks up defender status. Jaden Short, who's injured at the moment, picks up defender status. No, I picked Shorty in a couple of draft teams at the start of the year, waiting for this very moment, Roy. <laughs> he might be back for oh, finals. Came for you. He won't make finals. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> because of Shorty. Yeah. <laughs> um, Marlon Pickett, he picked up forward status. But the added flexibility ones, though, you've got uh, Doherty, Dacos, Sinclair. So they've all picked up mid status. They're probably the. The main ones yeah, there. that could be handy. You never know. You never know. A couple that missed out, though. Big Maxi gone. He missed out slightly. He was going into the round 33.7% for it. Remember, you need to be yeah. 35%. Played a bit too much ruck and went down to 32.8%. Um, who was the other one? What about Walsh? Sam Walsh. Sam Walsh. So this is the thing that will be the kicker for some people. He was going into this game, into the round, 354 So he... Had it. <laughs> he had it. He Frico had it. tweeted out, though. Oh, Frico. Why do you do this? Sam Walsh's two highest games for time spent in the midfield. Oh, Round 17 was his season high. 97.2%. <laughs> Just to ensure it didn't happen. Oh, Walsh. Oh, Walsh. <laughs> it's Walsh. Um, and then the other one was Mickey. prior to round the last ones, where he was close as well, because mm. I think he was right on the borderline. He had 96%. So then the two. Vossi's oh, playing with us. God, yeah, some people very excited about that. Too. Oh yeah, do, is, does Vossi have a draft league? I and love one how of his mates has got him, and he's gone. Nah, <laughs> it just would have felt for his owners like it would justify the hold. Yeah, because yeah. it's probably unjustifiable yep. at the moment. What do you have a ninety? Another ninety? Yep. Yeah, I don't Which even can... think he would fit into the top six forwards. Would he? Oh would God, at this rate, right? no, yeah, no. The way we'll have a look at that soon. This month, all kids 14 and under get to go to the footy for free. Look, a tiger. Selfies and screamers. Mmm, that looks tasty. And you never know who you'll meet. Oh, so fluffy. Kids go free round 16 to 19. Awesome. See you there. Might take some of my uh, fantasy team along to the footy this week. They'll come in for free. <laughs> so the rookies that I'm still rocking with. This is Warnie, coach of puppy school. <laughs> the Warn pups. Come along. She's John A. Yeah, all of them. All of Shield. Come on, boys. Oh, but Warner, you said I'm not a rookie, even though I'm a rookie. <laughs> Wendy. Why do I have to pay? <laughs> you idiot. They've made me pay. Right, let's have a look at <laughs> round 18, because that's what we're up to. This is how well I'm going. All right, round 17 there. It's round 18 coming up. Uh, and we'll look at some targets across the positions. And I think these are... We're going to look at the best ones, because mm. we'll... Sneak peek, rolling 22 coming up, the, <gasps> the real one, Cal. Not, Ooh, not oh, our okay. rubbish one. We'll see how he goes under okay. the pressure of uh, <laughs> creating a rolling 22. Now, um, these could be picks that people can make this week. Done them in a bit of a price order here to start with. James Sicily is uh, back from his three-week suspension. i tell you what, yeah. he's coming back with interest. He is, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's another thing we're going to look at very soon is the scale of hardest. It looks good for him, doesn't it, Ken? Dude, it's amazing for him. Mm. You won't find any more green grass than that for the dog to play on. And he's coming back under the roof. Yep. He will have a day. Great right. matchup. Because people are spending up on that. He's a popular trade in. Yeah. That, that's not cheap. It's not cheap. Definitely not. But it's still worth doing. Now, did you say he was like the second most trade yeah, in at was. the moment? Yep. Crikey. People just want a bit of the dog action. That's which crazy. I don't blame him because those no. those numbers are massive. Mm. Break even slow because he's only he'll be up <clears throat> towards a meal 
after this little yeah. round of games if he does what he should do. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, Cow, you wrote down Liam Duggan here. And it's okay. a bit of a uh, West Coast sort of theme because of what they've been doing in the back line. You, is everyone seeing what they've been doing? Yes. Yeah, just hoping the clock runs quickly while they yeah. chip and chip and chip and chip. <laughs> they just they hold from the three minute mark yes. of each quarter yes. as well. They hold the ball. Yeah. Just so they don't get scored against. 100%. They turn their 150 point margins into an 80 point margin yeah. by just hogging Holding onto it. the ball all the time. So, yeah. Liam Duggan, as a result of this, he had 116 last week, 33 touches, nine marks. Mm. He took nine kick ins, played on nine times. Yeah. They're getting scores kicked against them. They're getting points kicked against them. And he took 27 free points yeah. just from kick-ins. This was his last scores here. That's 116, a lot. It is. 113, dirty 69. Before that, a 137 and a 140. I'm just saying at less than 2% ownership, yeah. their run home is also late, which is why you like a little bit of widow action. Yeah, I just whacked him in there because it was a price option. at 705. Yeah. That's cheap. It is. It is. 131 and 105, the last two. I will say that 131 was against the Saints, so we know give up yep. points yep. to defenders. But they don't have doing. a bad run either and what mm. they're doing. Mm. So it's not even necessarily the run. It's just if they want to hold the ball yeah. in any way, like that's – That'll be in with those hands. Two right, it will. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Roy, your boy, Nasaya Wanganine Miller. How does he just. He's man, hungry. Man. He, he, he is, is hungry. He's good. Now, I feel sorry for coaches who started with him because they saw it. Yeah, they yeah. saw the way he plays, his ball use, the fact that they want it in his hands. It just really took to probably just before the buy, but especially after the buy, he's really turned it up a notch. So, Wanganine Miller. Like Dog just said, he wants the pill. His teammates want it in his hands, and his scores are reflecting that at the moment. That 130 on the weekend, um, that is elite, and they've got a nice run to come. Yeah. So for 8-11, he's quite a good pod. Yep. Mm. Now, Mitch Duncan's cheaper than that. Yeah. Only just, yeah. like 20-odd K, coming off 128 last week, mm. 86 and a 120. Yeah, so mm. he's getting it done. Will he play... Every game for the rest of the year. No, I don't reckon. His issue too is the concern of what his role is. So as a defender, like he's obviously got defender status in yeah. fantasy, but he's all over the ground. He, he was up forward. He, he was doing a lot of different things, yeah. which can be good and bad. <laughs> it, it certainly can. You feel like with Mitch Duncan though, it doesn't matter where he starts yeah. on the field. He's just allowed to run around and do whatever he wants out there. But if we're seeing... Big Blicks, you know he's got a steeplechase background. Yeah, so he that. likes running I heard and that. for extended periods. Loves running. If apparently. he's getting subbed, yeah, Mitch Duncan is also has to be a weekly Definitely. concern. 100%. I would never be surprised to see him vested as just a tactical rest. So do you spend nineteen k more and get a Wanganine Miller? I do. I would. Yeah. And that's a set role for him because you've got guys like Sinclair who's in the midfield yes. yep. and he's back there yep. doing those nice little backline things. Yep. Right, in the midfield, uh, the first price point um, or the higher price point of these guys, so we're looking at a bit of value here, is Took Miller who made his return, scored 95, I think it was, mm -hmm. 97 maybe. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, he only had 17% centre bounces. So he was playing a half forward role in that. And that's it was talked about by Stuart Jew, basically talking about their midfield mm. um, being good and just leaving them and leaving it as it was mm. kind of thing. So um, 844K, it's value. It is. Because he got subbed out when he. Yeah, it was like, yeah, like it wasn't before good. Before that yep. injury, yep. like he was out for a low score of 50. I or mean, that's unders for what two the kids. name is. Yeah. Like, but. With all that time sitting forward, you're just not touching that. No, you well, so you'd prefer to save the coin then, the 42K, to get Jack Steele. So have he's we just seen enough now? Yeah. Have we seen yeah. enough now? Like, yeah. he's been up and down and we've been, yes, 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 no, 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 wait, hold, run out, bang. <laughs> now we're back all in because we saw... It was big. Free movement. Yep. Marks. Yep. Tackle game back. And... A lot of tackles. Time, time on, on ground. ground. Yep. None of that 68% yep. we saw three or four weeks ago. Yeah, I agree. It was huge. Yep. Mm. So are we just going – and it was a, like it wasn't an easy matchup. No, 100%. He had to play against proper players in there. Yep. <laughs> so is he just a yes now? Yes. It's it, Jack it Steele. Yep. It has to be Pre -season a Pre-season yes. – Top three lock midfield. Bit of vindication him. there for some people that have had to hold. Oh, what a ride. And a moment silence for people that finally traded the pin last week. week. Yeah. 
Oh, man, that hurts. So in a moment, I want us to rank these guys. We'll have a look at LDU. Right, 733K. So cheap. Mm. He is cheap. And Scar of Hardness coming up. That's pretty. It's nice. And he was good. He was very good on the weekend. Yeah, David King didn't think so. In a <laughs> in a tough matchup. And that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> so he scored 122, 28 touches, eight tackles, two snags in that. Against Geelong, in Geelong, they lost by 10 goals. Yeah, so what did he score? A 122. Yeah, yeah it's very massive. good. Very good. So at that price, that's a steal. That's 70K less than Jack Steele. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd still pay for the but, Jack Steele. Oh, 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 right. <laughs> oh, right. That hurt my ears. Right. Finn McGuinness is back. He is. He Finn is. McGuinness That's is back. Yeah. Back on. Finn McGuinness. He is. So that little Hawthorne easy matchup may not be so easy. Well, what did he do to Josh Kelly? He tagged him to that six touches. That was ridiculous. Touches. We didn't talk about him before. But we tag, tagged him to six touches. 30, wasn't it? 30 yeah. points. That was Finn sanity. Wasn't it ever? Yeah. <laughs> so... Surely LDU is in the top of the line. Well, who top. else? Well, that's it. There Jeez. is no one else you would Sheezle. even consider looking at. Tag Sheezle. Oh. oh, no. No. I don't care who he tags, but they're dead. God. Dead man walking. I tell you what, there's a rule about tagging rookies, but since Warney doesn't classify as he's now a target. <laughs> he's got 100%. He's right well, at the top of the list. He ruined my season before, in round, before <laughs> round one even started when he went to bloody Dacos. Oh, Oh, that's right. We'll get to that Finn, another Finn day. Sanity. What about that 30, though? I know. That's, that's, a, d- that's a definition of a dirty 30. And he's getting cheap. Oh, oh. Would you go there for the third time this season? 100%. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I that will have, yeah, yeah, have him back in. I will have him back in. Man, when he bottoms out. Tell you what, you could go Tom Green down to him. I just didn't know an elite midfielder could be kept that quiet. Mm. Yeah. Ty Guy, that's not who's even, not even a walk-up. It's not even like the fact that, player. you know, a worry about him is if he's out on the wing and that sort yes. of stuff. Not even that. He's, oh, he still had 10 CBA. Any midfielder with 10 CBAs, tag or not. Yep. 30? I oh, know. Yowch. Man, I mean. uh, In the ruck, there's only one name to talk about Oh, there, you skipped Roy. someone. Oh, did I? Oh, sorry. Callum oh, Mills. Oh, yes. It's a big one. 646. Uh... Yes, you can still just do it. If that's your price point that you can get into, yes. So, previous scores, 92, 85, 64 since coming back. Mm. We'll ignore that 64. Yeah. 92, 85. Which is cheap for 646. It's very cheap for 646. I keep saying it. He he can average 100 for the run home, can't he? He could. Here's the thing. Surely. Why not? The Why most, isn't he? The most common question we've been getting already, and it's only Monday here, but Mills versus Steele. Which one would you take out of those? I'm guys? paying the 150 for Steele. Yes. I'm paying 150 for the access to 150s, which yeah. Mills has looked nothing like getting in that. So here you go. This facility. year, Mills has two scores over 100, a higher score of 110. Steele, six scores over 100, higher scores of 146, 128, 121. Yeah, you, you've got to pay that one fifty. You can get up, so if you're you saying up. so, really broad figures. This is one fifty is about fifteen points. Is that right? No, must be a bit more. A bit more. Yep. Is so he going to score? To let's, let's call it eighteen points. Then. Yep. Yeah, I think he will. Look, I think I, he will. Yeah, I think it's worth paying up. I'm looking to bring both of them in, but that bringing in meals. God, it's not exciting at the moment. It should be. The I name know, the name alone is exciting. His numbers last year are exciting. It's definitely a means to an end, though. Like, yeah. If you're getting him to help you do something else, yes. that's well, a that great move. that is true. Move. It's a little cash grab. Now, that is something you're going to need to do on Thursday night, though, yeah. Yeah, for Mills, a 7.20 game. Put a V on him. You could do. Hey, I'll let you Last know that Thursday one. night game coming up this week too for the season. Oh, yeah, so. yeah. Uh, now in the ruck, Roy, your man Tristan <gasps> Cherry, oh, aka X Airy, five sixty five. He's coming off the one ten, which there's a little bit of vindication that is, for you. Yes, yes. yes. Um, now I don't know if you saw. I tweeted out some of the scenes of the party that was going on <laughs> oh, on the island on the X Airy yeah. island. I mean, we didn't have him, You're but like Warnie said, it was the vindication yeah. of it. We were happy for him. Were you? Yeah, I woke up this morning, water trinkling on my feet, tide come in. Yep. I was like, got to get to the podcast. Big party? Yeah, huge. <laughs> 110. He gets so, his hands on the pill too. He does. He marks, he tackles, his hit outs, racks up huge hit out numbers. Yeah. 
He is an option this week. So Goldberg was dropped. See ya. Oh. Will he come back in at some stage Has for to. a farewell game? That's the problem. Or even a series of farewell games. Potentially. That is that is the ex airy flag. It is. Yeah. Um, because you don't want him sharing. No. He dominated the ruck yesterday in the VFL. Had 48 hit outs. Yeah. He's never been one to share well, ex airy. Um That's your only concern. But is it a play as of this week in a world with two trades a week? Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. So a play that you could be doing, you've got Briggs. Yes. 738, you'd bank 173K by going yep. Briggs to X Airy, which is a, a like for like. It is. And you're banking cash. Yes. So you can do that, dog. Yes. Darcy Cameron's similar to that at 721, so you're banking 156. <clears throat> and getting an upgrade. And getting an upgrade. A significant upgrade. upgrade. So, yep. and then that lets you, that could be that difference between getting um, meals and or, steel. or steel. You would do it yep. in a heartbeat. Yep. He's the real deal, cow. Yeah, I know. Cop, what could have been? I oh, know. I could have been toot toot scoring up there with those big dogs, X Man, running the ruck department for me. I know. Anyway. Now, we didn't have that. much to talk about the forward line, but I thought I might talk about my new recruit this week, cow. Who's that? Stephen Canelio. So we've oh. all got him now. No, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's one Why of the, don't you have him? Uh, as the buy expert, <laughs> through the buy rounds. <laughs> You need to make some really bold decisions. Bold. Bold, bold. or stupid. You can choose which one it was. Uh, he w- through the, in my defence, he was just getting like a little 101, 102. Because oh, hundreds are bad in your team. Well, hey, I moved him on to bigger and better things. I think he might have got me to Goulden, though. But I can't remember. Which you should have had anyway. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of things You've I should have done. Still got Johnson. No, I don't anymore. <laughs> we'll get to, get to our trades in a moment, Roy. <laughs> you dump some. How are you ranked ahead of me? Because I'm brutal. You traded out <laughs> Connor Rosie and got him back in. Correct. Was that a hard watch? I saw you <laughs> send some. I tried a reverse rocket, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Misfired. <laughs> Bloody Nerf gun thing. He had 61 at the quarter. That was hard to watch. He, he did slow down in that second quarter. So when we get to my trade, I have an option of going back to. <laughs> Cogs, please do, or going the the value of a Jack Steele, right? So, gosh, you better go the value. I don't know about the that. The Cogs, man, I, I know. On my watch, I would not have allowed you to do that, dog. <laughs> he would have talked you into it. He was saying, no, no, it's a I good was, move this time. Of year. I was telling him you were the right. I was being good. I was telling him the right things to do, but I got no, no, no. No, 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 I did not, dog. I did not. I, I've come back and I've seen exactly what's happened here. I know dog's been like, yeah, well, it's a good buy play. <laughs> Giggling away to himself. Hey, let's just see how these two teams end up at the end of the year. Okay, yeah. Well. Do you know what the vest count is now? Oh, we're back on the count. Yeah, yeah. right. We're, that had stopped for a well, while. I was just waiting for it to get almost... Oh, I, I can still cop it for the rest of the year, but... You're nine, I'm five. Nine, five. Ross right. Three. three, that's a lot. It's a lot for you. <laughs> You're having a good year. <laughs> I was nine. I so four out you. of the next seven. Oh. I've got to avoid. Dead man walking. You Me? are so invested. <laughs> <laughs> he is. Um, now, the only other name I was going to throw into the forwards was Sam Flanders, who had the Port Adelaide matchup. So I only scored a 67, but he was a 94 and a 101. So if you've got a rookie on field, Cow. Don't point at me and say that. He's still, a, he's still a swap there at 562. Oh, please stop no, playing I'm not, around in this. I'm not going in. Dirty water. No, I'm not playing. You might as well keep playing a rookie. Or like Cooper Harvey. Who had one? Oh, it has one. He had sixty three. <laughs> yeah, he would be pretty safe. You oh, he's staying yeah. in that side. Yeah. So he's the best of those guys that yeah. um, made their debut on the weekend. Sam Banks had thirty nine. Oh, Wal Walden still Wal Walden had thirty seven. He'll so poll in that. He will. <laughs> Red. Green. Table. Cow all right, we teased it before. Oh, oh teased, all right. <laughs> people have been hanging around. Well, I'm going to get straight to the it. 44 minute mark of this, and people are going, "Holy hell!" I want to listen to a lot of waffle. To there's, get to this. No, there's not much to say. Defenders, right? 
These teams have a delightful run home, okay? <laughs> West Coast is amazing. And it will be instant reward this week. With O. Yep. God. Richmond, one of the three easiest teams to score against. Mm. Then Essendon is also another one they play in four weeks' time. They've got North Melbourne in that as well. We've got to talk about Hawthorns. Yeah. They have two dark green teams in the next four weeks, two light green teams in the next four weeks. Oh, no. That adds up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dog will feast like we have No never. wonder people are buying into him. Oh. They must just be looking at the scale of hardness going, yeah. I want that. I wish I could have the dog. You've got to be – you've got to remind yourself, though, if you're going the dog, there are some ups – and there are some How many downs. games have you played in the last two months? Not a lot. <laughs> I don't think there'll be a down in the next four weeks, though. A, a down will be a low ton. What's he going to average in that time? Oh. It's over 120. It's over 120. You're getting value then. Massive value. Like it's. 930, isn't it? 930 yeah. and his value. That I want you to think about. What? <laughs> I want you to think about. So he has North Melbourne this week, which is a light green team. Yeah. Under the roof. Oh, yeah. no. Where he had a massive one sixty odd the other last time he was there, which was Tom Stewart a while ago. What did Tom Stewart do at the end of that game? Forty one points in ten minutes of football. (laughs) He'll be doing that. He will more than the ten minutes Tom Stewart did it. Yes. Let's look at midfielders. Uh, Geez, it's St Kilda again. St Kilda's run over the next three weeks. They go Gold Coast, Hawthorne. And so they go Gold Coast, North Melbourne, Hawthorne. Two of those teams are your dark greens. Mm. Jack Steele. Jack Steele, Sinclair, Crouch. Those guys will still be fine over the next three weeks. Also looking at Richmond in Taranto. So I have I have four teams coloured in the dark green, four easy teams. Taranto plays two of them in a row. Wow. So he That's goes a lot of teams with dark. Four? Yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> really? Okay, he's that's on right. your toes, I think. Well, just wondering, just you don't a bit of quality control here, You mate. don't understand how it works. <laughs> so Taranto's got West Coast this week. After two scores under 100, yep. it's going to be very interesting where the Pirate has him ranked this week. It will be. Because he got it right last week mm. with Dacos. Talk about yourself in the third person. Dacos. <laughs> well, I'm um, Calvin here. Oh, right. right. So <laughs> that had is Dacos. the Pirate Calvin as well? I don't know. <laughs> so... <laughs> Had two people ranked ahead of him, and they got the job done. So he will be a great option. The other one here is um, LDU in North Melbourne. So, yes, he gets the tag this week, but then he goes St Kilda West Coast. So, yeah, I I don't think he'd be going there this week, Mm. but his price will be at a very nice look in round 19 going into St Kilda into West Coast. Yeah, fair. Uh, other than that, any any hard ones to flag? That might be putting you on the spot. No, nothing puts me on the spot, dog. Uh, hard ones <laughs> is the midfielders there is Adelaide. Right. So there are... Good thing Keezy's not a midfielder anymore. No, that's it. There's four red teams, dog, and I'm allowed to have four red teams. Okay? Oh, so you just... Right. So is it a set number? No. Or does it change? No, it, it fluctuates between the groups. So when I look you at the scale... A lot. No, when I look at the group, you're like... They are so far ahead of anyone else there, they are going to be the brightest green that I'm allowed to use on an Excel spreadsheet. Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Red, there's four teams. Adelaide play two of them in the next three weeks, and that's GWS, Melbourne, and then Port Adelaide. Wow. Right. So Dawson mm. this week up against the third hardest team for mids to play against, but he gets to do it at home, which should be a little bit of an added bonus. Yes. Yeah, well, that'll just be an 80 for him then. You would think so. Other than that, <laughs> hard matchups. 100 and 180. 180. Uh, Bulldogs have a couple of hard teams in the next three weeks as well. Other than that, there's rucks. I don't think we can really look too much into no. rucks. Um, people look at x Xeri. That's fine. There's no real difficult run. Um it's so. a bit of a gentleman's agreement in the ruck department. There the is <laughs> not not a lot, not a lot changes. Sure, I'll see you in the next bounce, <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. So, think things there is. <clears throat> so we got defenders, Eagles, and the Hawks by far the best midfielders. It is St Kilda, Richmond, and Hawthorne aren't too bad either. But also keep an eye on LDU. Not this week because you'll get tagged next week definitely. How much should your trading go into the scale of hardness? Oh, like, not one to blow it up, maybe 100% of it. <laughs> All right. Cost well, me a bloody hat, that thing, did Yeah, you? but hey, is it not helping you this year? It helps me this year. Thank you. How much does it go into this? 
Roy's a rolling 22. We've been waiting for this for a little while because it's, uh, it was done poorly a fortnight ago. I like to think of what you and I do more of a collaboration. <laughs> right? So I, I bring you yeah. like a bit of evidence yes. and go, this is what they're doing. Yeah. See what you can do with that. Okay. And then you look at it and go, oh my God, right, yo, this is a valuable resource. Right, let's go. Let's fire through Dang the it. defenders. Who have you got, Destroy? Just to clarify, I do not factor in that crap that he just <laughs> spoke no, about. Are you serious? <laughs> Zero criteria I, based on that scale. I, I, I bet we're going to hear some scale of hardness people in this uh, list. Right. Well, number one in defence is the guy who's apparently coming up against Red, Red, don't go there. Knock him down, knock Dawson. him out of it. Dawson but is number one. He's God, a mid- what mid- about mid-hero. these three? Dawson, Dacos, Doherty. The Triple defence is yeah. looking very nice. Defence. Um, and then you, all D's. Oh, yeah, got yeah. I like that. Oh, yeah, you could use that. <laughs> <laughs> then you got Sinclair, Sick Dog. Fence. And then oh. Ryan gets in there based purely because he oh, keeps he hitting his ceiling. And then in the mix, you've got Stewart and the pod Duggan. Yep. Into the midfield, we have the Bont. At one. At one. And Merritt knocking on the door of one in second spot. Yes, credit where credit's due. Yeah. Yeah, and I've looked after him. On notice at number three is Brayshaw. Yeah. Then I've got Crouch, Laird. And this shows I'm taking it seriously, Cow. Parish. Wow. <laughs> you hate Parish. Why have you got Parish there? He deserves it. He does. Unfortunately, the criteria said, and I tweaked it a few ways to try to push him out so of it. just want him to keep pushing his contract talks back yeah. and back. So he's he's doing really well. And then I've got Calvin's most hated player, Sarong, and Lockie Neal rounded See, Sarong out. should be ahead of Brayshaw in recent form. No. No, not really. No. It's just a poor one. Sarong ahead of Neal. I've got a... A no reactionary criteria, dog, and that. Um, so wrong ahead of Neil. Sure. Um, yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, you know, things change, Mox, but at the moment that's how it sits. People like Petraka, Steele has thrown his name back in the it mix. needs to. And Chera, for someone who's a bit of form, he at least gets – he'll never be oh, in there. It's but like your little put Jack Darling in your – Yes. Rolling 22 Yes, that's before point. I had any criteria. <laughs> yep. Um, in the ruck department, it's still English – Ahead of so that's the Marshall. order still just. Do you know prices change? They flipped around. There. Yeah. Oh, have they? Yeah. So he's he's definitely well. He's been knocking on the door of it for a while, but I'm not going to just go and flip it just yet. As much as I would love to, um, X Airy is in the mix. <laughs> Points per minute in the ruck department. He's leading the way. <laughs> okay, I'm yeah. going to ask the question. Where's Sean Darcy? Yeah, in the mix has to be. Yeah, he's killing it. He is killing. He it. is just Gosh. on English and Marshall. English's good run is coming up as well. Right. So he's got Sydney this week. He's got Essendon, who don't have a Ruckman, no, into a green GWS, and then a Richmond, who probably won't have Nan Curvis either. No. The so. hole hasn't had anything other than a green dot. It's opponent. unbelievable. <laughs> Even if it is a red opponent, they, yeah. they just it don't turn up. Like, we need a Jaden stat sort of thing on this of going, who has, by luck, Ended up with the best run because of, yeah. you know, their oh, opponents that's a good matchups. Idea. Yeah. Like, oh, Ruck's an easy place to do it because of who they're up against. Oh, but like, some players have just had the rub of the green. Yeah. Like the woe is me story, I was, as someone who owned Sean Darso, yep. always I just wanted him within 15 points of English while I had him. And that ticked a box. Now I don't have him anymore post-injury. He's killing English. He is. That would have been He would nice. have more points than English, would he? The last few weeks, yeah. I reckon. Yep. Um, into the forward line. Taranto is number one. Now, Goulden has moved into Ooh. number two. Dunkley's just lost the one spot at this stage, down to number three. Rosie, your mate, Canelio. Yep. <laughs> He's, so you trade out a best. Uh, he wasn't in my rolling dog. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. Um, and then Butters is still hanging in there, mm. despite um, lacking a little bit of form at the moment by his lofty standards. And then the guy in the mix here, just want to talk about this, Jack McRae. Oh, yeah. Now, God, we flag it every single week, but last week, two weeks ago, he got reverse bevoed yep. and thrown in the guts. Confused him. Really good score. Yep. Got totally bevoed this week. Zero CBAs. Oh, wow. Zero. How... 
So that's why you, he might be in the mix there, but you cannot even consider it. No. No. Nah. There needs to be an inquiry. Yeah. So there it is. There's the proper Roland 22. Well done. That's good. Don't fall for fakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's have a look at the early trades ahead of round 18, what the punters have done with their rage trades uh, and what we have done. We'll have a look at those in a second. But most trade in is Cooper Harvey, the son of a gun, and he is coming in because he's so cheap. He's a rookie to pick. Then Sick Dog is there uh, with Jack Steele, Callum Mills, and Stephen Canelio. You're not considering getting him back then, Cal? Uh, he's on the radar, yes. <laughs> now, the most traded out players, Matt Johnson. Time to go, is it? Round... 18. 100% it's time to go. <laughs> and Angus Sheldrick. They're both of my trade-outs, actually. Harry Sheasel, George Wardlaw, who was a laid-out on the weekend, and then Jake Lloyd, who's out with the concussion. Further down the list, so Hobbs is there. So it's the time to go with some of these players. So yeah. let's look at what we're doing then. Who wants to reveal their moves this Cow. week? Okay. Give us what you're doing. How many rookies? I am getting my Long Johnson out. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Not here. There was a you data breach on long that. Race, so <laughs> that's what's happening. And I am bringing in Steel and Cooper Harvey. There you go. Right. That should have been short is Harvey, Johnson out for you. Is Harvey <laughs> going to be playing on your field? No, he's not going to be playing on my field. How Don't? many rookies will you have left? I will have one left on field. One left. Okay. I'll check yours in a minute. Too. All right. I'm getting rid of two rookies, Cow. Johnson and Sheldrick. Okay. And a bit of DPP gets me in Jack Steele. I'm having a bit of a play with Alex Witherden. Oh, God. I <laughs> honestly don't know about my this. side <laughs> for this matchup that the scale of hardness there tells is. me he's going to be all right. There is no chance you're bringing him with though this week. I don't know. Uh, Ambassador. You tell me. That's true, Ambassador, maybe. We'll catch up with him this week. Yeah, good call. All right. Uh, the trades everyone wants to know about. I am getting rid of Cameron and Ashcroft. So that's my last rookie off the ground. And I'm getting in Mills and... The Man of Steel. Right. Mm. You're not worried that uh, Ashcroft will outscore Mules? No, not at all. He could. He could. This month, all kids... Nope, we won't play that one. Got a question for the traders? Tweet the boys at AFL Fantasy or head to facebook.com forward slash AFL Fantasy official. All right, let's do some Twitter time and also Instagram time because that's where we put up the story. People can go, hey, let's look at this. Good uh, question. Do you have a link for the Calvin's Captain song? What a banger. It is a banger. It, it is, is a banger. Good song. We've got, well, the original version of it. We'll tweet that out later. Captain O'Brien's Crack, the yep. man from Launceston. Mm. Look him up on uh, Spotify. Go and have a play. Yeah, that song comes from Mutiny. Yeah. But they re-recorded it, yeah. especially for Calvin A. Yeah, tonight they did. And I expect good. nothing less. Good song. Yeah, um, it, it is. is a good song. Do you want to hear it? Yes, please. Mm. Let's have a listen to it. Uh, where is it? They released a new song the other day, too. Mm. That's good. Yeah. Do you feel like you need to do something now? What have you got? Have you got a number one for us? Right now, let's have a look at top five this week. I have, I have started my A4 paper preparation. So is it looking all right? It is. Using uh, your four-colour pen. The quaddy. Thanks, got, Ben. The quaddy's back. Yeah. Um, the magic wand, they like to call it. <laughs> it is, last week, my top five averaged 120. So Is that a real go. stat? That's a real stat. Okay. Just just that's a real magic stat. wand. Magic like wand. your Long Johnson combo. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You're going to trust Taranto as your skipper in the last game of the round against West Coast? It's Monday, dog. You have to wait and see. Right. Okay. Thursday, mate. Tune in to Thursday night. That's a real on Thursday. 6.15 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Uh, right. Let's go in here. Jarrah's just written Davies Uniac. Yeah. Give us a one word. No. Uh, Soon. Not, not this week. That's <laughs> three words. Yeah, but I said it real fast. Yeah, what, soon's it's a better way to say it. No, it's one syllable. Not this week. <laughs> Like my name. <laughs> Tell that story. <sighs> People don't know my name's Adam, though. They, it is. Yeah. Well, Roy's one syllable, isn't it? Roy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Roy. Yeah, that's one clap. My music teacher, when I was in primary school, it scarred me. <laughs> you had to say your name and clap the syllables to it. Adam. And he said no. And I was like, oh, God, get the sweats. What do you mean? I got something wrong. <laughs> what is it then? Adam. <laughs> Clap, one clap, Adam. Yeah. In what world? Is that okay? Name and shame this bloke, Roy. <laughs> Put him out there. <laughs> no. But Are you shocked now, though, as an adult, knowing that, like, Calvin teaches as well? 
Oh, and I tell you what, he smelt a lot the same too. Why do I smell all of a sudden? What's this about? I don't understand. This is a bit like a brewery of a Monday morning. <laughs> Elephant. <laughs> right. So, yes, no, you're right, dog. Uh, oh, Oscar wants to know, are the Blues back, Roy? Are the Blues yes, back? Yes, hell yes, they are. They can actually make finals. Yeah, they can make finals. And some people are saying form team of the competition. No one's saying that. Look at the look at the numbers, mate. All right. Bombers are the form team of the competition. Port Adelaide this week. Yeah, I know, and it is going to be a wake up call for the competition. <laughs> we are coming. They should make that a. a Here's a, a name that we haven't talked about, and Calvinator. Yeah. You would like it because of the scale of hardness. Mm-hmm. Bailey Scott, seven fifty four defender mid. He's coming off a ninety eight. No, 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 no. What, what, no? 83, 92. Look, Decent numbers. Okay, yeah. I, I hear you. It's just too late. In draft. Scala Hardness can't do everything <laughs> for everyone. No, no. It's a no on Bailey Scott. No. There you go, Sherwood. <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> time of down. year. Yeah. No, it's the time of year. I, so he's, he's gone down the list and he's found someone that fits a trade. I, I get yeah. that. But it's a no. Yeah, but... Be nicer to Sherwood. Well, I'm just you saying. You said Scala Hardness is 100%. It is, but it can't it. perform miracles like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, rightio. Next one. Charlie's going day to Sicily. Oh, yeah. Or oh. Hobbs to Butters. Oh. Which move would you choose? Man, I didn't like... I didn't like Hobbs's time on ground. No, it, it's Hobbs to Butters mm. because... Will Day will still enjoy that run that they've got coming up. Yeah, true. Yep. Hobbsy uh, can go. Butters, now I'm not taking the Mickey hit. That's a tough matchup on debut. No, it's not a tough it matchup. It is a tough it's matchup for midfielders. Check your scale. Mm, okay, I will check my scale. He's at least orange. Uh,. Oh, no, Colton are red. That's what I'm talking oh, about. Okay, you do know your scale. I do. I'll give you that. Could you go Tom Green to Jack Steele for some creative cash generation? Yes. Yes. How much does it get you? Oh, um, I'll give you 70. Get, yeah, it wouldn't get you. 60 or 70. That's the thing. Green yep. means go. Literally, get out yep. of my side. Yeah, he can go. Has not hit 120 now in eight weeks. Back Ooh. at the start, when he was doing those big scores, 130, he had a 170. <laughs> we were like, that is a must-have player. Yeah. Since then, no. Nah. No, nah, you think I stink. <laughs> 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 Max wants to know why don't more people have Harry Himmelberg in classic? Well, I, I think a lot of people would. I reckon because there was a bit of an issue when Yo went down it was and a good a few cash of, time yeah. to do it. Well, the reason the reason is because he was playing forward. Yeah. That's why. And now no one has him. Now he's starting to grow in ownership as a defender. They score more than seventy five. though. Yeah, I think mate. you were unlucky there. He's up to he, nearly nine percent ownership. He's an 85, 90 guy. Went up to run home, I reckon. Yeah, twenty six k um, last week. Haynes has just accepted that suspension. By the way, that tweet's popped up for me. There you go. So Himmelberg will stay just on in the back just line. on the Berg. The Berg won't be great this week. Won't he? So, nah. Oh. In Adelaide against Adelaide, a red team for defence. Oh. Red. Oh, how red? Real red. Have right. a look at what the Bombers did against them. Andy oh. McGrath scored a time. Uh, it's still red, mate, because they give up the least amount of uncontested marks in the comp. Is that what it's about? Well, it is for defenders, yeah. That would... that's They're still conceded. So Adelaide have given up the Dyson least. Heppel had 114, mate. You're not going off one week's worth of data. No. D- doesn't <laughs> count. they don't always come up against a gun so, team like no, the Bombers. Like, so either, far actually. this year, Adelaide, Red, Melbourne, Adelaide have given up the least amount of points to defenders. They've given up the least amount of points in the last five weeks. And it's weeks. in Adelaide. And it's in Adelaide. Easy in a world of trouble. There you go. I'll God, you would have been relieved to get a good score out of McGrath. Yeah. <sighs> get stuff. Did you trade him? Oh, you're right. It is round 19 after all. Here's one. <laughs> <laughs> That might as well be a rookie. He can laugh at why rookies on the field. I've got one left. How many have you got left? One. None. You've got no rookies left. Ashcroft and Sheezel aren't rookies. He's got two. How embarrassing. <laughs> People he- are trading into Ashcroft, into Sheezel, mate. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Oh. Scale of hardest tells me I should. Not can't, as a forward. Can't perform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, here you go. He needs to kick six. All right. Here's one up your alley, Roy, from Isabel. Right. Got to get your draft rankings on. Okay. Who are the top five hottest AFL players? Yeah, good call. <laughs> yep. Um, who did I see it's on the weekend podcast that turns I to. thought was delicious? Well, I do like Nick. Actually, we did talk oh. about it at the pub on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> 
We did too. Bailey Smith's still up there despite his yeah. form. Or does his form bring him down a couple of notches now? He doesn't quite look as handsome at the yeah, moment. Yeah, when he doesn't have the ball. When he has a 50 next to yeah, his name. Yeah, no, but he can get good. back there. Um, Nick Dacos is my number one at the moment. Um, but I tell you what, personality actually can improve someone's looks. And he ticks all boxes, Nick. You've never said that in your life. <laughs> 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 um, so those two are my number two. But there was someone else we saw on the weekend, like um, – Omira is always going to be oh, top yeah. five as long as he's in the competition. Yes, yes. Um, jawline to die for. Yeah. Jack Steele. Um, Jack Steele. Yep. He's, yep. He's, um, he can come in at, no, nah, off of 150, he bumps Omira. <laughs> so yep. he, he's at three, Omira four. Fifth is up for grabs. Sick Dog will put his hand up this week. Sick Dog is nowhere near the list. He's oh, the bottom five. Come on. Um, get, leave the fifth spot with me. All right. All right, Logan wants to know, Merritt or Doc? I think you just got to go the dude through 150s, don't you? You know, Charlie Kuno's cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a great rig, too. Uh, I would go, you got to putt, you just go to Merritt. I'm giving him fifth spot. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, sorry, who else? Uh, right, Doherty or oh. Merritt? Looks? No, it's pointy it team. Oh, um, I'm going Merritt. <laughs> Yeah, merit. Yeah, merit. All right. Is it too late to get Luke Ryan? Ask Levi. Um, he's just he's only eight fifty six. Yeah, he's cheap. And his ceilings there. Okay, I hate to say it, but what does the scale say? Okay, because I don't love Luke Ryan. He makes you roll twenty two. Yes, he does. I still just have nightmares from him, don't I? I shouldn't talk about Luke Ryan. the The scale is the scale is good enough. It's nothing there. The only so you got Collingwood this week, but that's at the G. Right. Then he goes Sydney at home, then Geelong away. So it's not not pretty. It's not great. I probably wouldn't go. You there. know what? If you're looking around that price, I'm with Dog's little dirty widow. Yeah. I'd, 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 I'd save one fifty. I'd be more likely to go to an eagle. Yeah. Mm. That's what they've been doing. At least you can hide behind value then. Yep. If you're paying up to some extent for Ryan. I don't yeah, want this Widow thing game. to actually be advice. I'd prefer Duggan to Ryan, even though Ryan's in the Rolling 22. Yeah, Duggan's a little bit more. What is the criteria then of the Rolling 22? Um, it's a, Jeff, a few Because Duggan costs that, more than Ryan, doesn't he? A, l- a little bit, yeah. I'm chasing ceiling at this time of year of Duggan. Right. Consistent ceiling. Ryan's So is the Rolling 22 ceiling. about who you think is going to be the best 22 for the rest of the year? Yep. Right. I'm trying to hit a six here, mate. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, Roy. Ryan's he a doesn't understand. <laughs> Ryan's a boundary. Yeah. Duggan's a six. I get it. He oh. doesn't understand. So when we a bit did of safety. Our, when we did our rolling 22s the other Mine day, was clearly better it was than obvious yours. he didn't understand what to do. So Look, I picked the players who I thought would score the most for the rest of the year. I thought that criteria was a simple one. Okay. He, get, he gets confused. You still had rookies in yours. Who? <laughs> I had Cheezel. <laughs> you had Cheezel. He did too. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that one. That's all right. Uh, Josh Kelly, is it a trade or hold? Oh, God. I think you've got to stick with it, don't you? It Do would you? be a hard one to swallow. He drops 60K. He's 855. I guess ke- he's still I'm, at a price to move. He's got a, if you've got, I like, would as in, if you've got nothing else to do, though, like yeah. if you are in that uh, yeah, completed luxury. team type thing, yeah. get him to... Take your 50K, go to Jack Steele. Like, he's got a break even of 158. Yeah. <sighs> Josh Kelly... You keep him. You've got someone worse than him to Yeah, that's fix, true. Surely. Surely. That, that's not happening again. A 30. He'll come back <laughs> with a vengeance, surely. Caden wants to know, why is Josh Fay not making money? <laughs> you don't get it when they score in the VFL, unfortunately. It's a shame. It's a shame. Because back be. in the day when it was Neeful, holy hat, we would have had some expensive Too right. players I'll there. Tell you what, though. They've influenced the VFL. They have. It's, it's getting towards that point. Yep. Got a bit of needful about it these days. Hobbs out. Who's keen to do that? Me. Oh, yeah, he can go. Yep. yep. I think you've just got to look at a guy like that on your list of priorities and go, well, where does he fit? So for me this week, it is my rookies, mm. right? Yeah. And then he's next. Yeah. So, yeah, just where, where he fits for you. Now, I don't think he was in the mix there, but Caleb Daniel. Mm. Where does he sit um, for you? He's... He was an accidental oversight, leaving him out of in the mix. He's right. definitely in the mix. 
He's dropped off a bit though, hasn't he? He has, but he can get it done. He deserves to be in the mix. When I say dropped off, he had a 116 last week. Yeah. But a 74 and a 93. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Certainly worthy of consideration though. Yep. Could you go Butters to Rosie? Yes. Super luxury, but mega super luxury. Mm. What's going on with your boy Butters at the moment, Destroy? Oh, I don't know if he's just getting a little bit more attention or the ball's just not quite bouncing his way at the moment. The thing with those two, it can flip at any time. Yep. Um, so that would be the risk of doing that trade. You can, if you do that trade, actually, this is all in your hands. If you do that trade, I guarantee Butters will outscore yep. Rosie 100%. on that week. I'm saying no, you just play that one out. Yeah. Try. Can you get Rosie some other way and have them both maybe? Yep. All right, since you've been gone, are the Hawks tags back? Yes, they are. Well and truly Still back. Definitely wonder what. Can I just say one more thing about that? Butters scored over 60 in the second half, which is more of a reflection of what, what he, he is. is. Yep. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, fan forced oven. Um, can you trade out Tom Green before Hobbs, Ashcroft, Sheasel in order to get Mills and Sicily? Jeez. Look... <sighs> I'm still a believer that he's a lot better than what he showed on the weekend. Yeah. Man. You've got to get rid of people that can't go 170 before you're getting rid of a guy who has at least, he has it in his artillery. Oh, you'd be playing Ashcroft and Sheasel on your field, which is absolutely fine because they're not rookies. (laughs) Hobbs as well. So Green's, the 69 there is, is horrible. But before that, he had a 108 and a 104. No, we're keeping Green there. You can keep Green. How much more does he score Green than Mills? Because you bank and bulk coin, do you? You are. And then the difference is... 200k. Narrowing. Yeah, but... 10 points? You can't keep rolling with those other guys. No. No, they got to go first. Mm. Yep. Um, what about Bose for David here as a money... For money, your cash generation... Non-sub average of 78, priced at 4.13. So you got defender mid-status. He's cheap. What did he score on the weekend? Man, he's so cheap. So he's 416 case. He is a straight defender. Straight defender. And yeah. on the weekend destroy, as I quickly check, a 101. Mm, it's impressive, isn't it? Does the fact he plays for uh, Geelong a- enough to scare you off on that one? Yeah, for sure. He's been thrown around a bit too. Yeah, and he can cop it. Mate, I'm just a, looking at his drop, time on ground. So dropping in a vest. So he had a 19%. So he was obviously subbed in against Sydney in round 16 for nine. He played half a game for 54. He played a quarter of a game for 21. So he's a bit of a whipping boy. Yeah. I think you bring a guy like that, he can, be, he can be vested off at any time. Yeah. Uh, Matty's got this one here. Duncan, Sicily or Doherty? It's sick dog first. For me, it's Doc, Sicily, yep. Duncan. I'm happy to go sick top. Yeah, sick just for that run. Yeah, but the Doc will let you sleep a little bit better so at night. Doc's a little bit like the uh, the four. Sick dog is a six. Yeah. Yeah. But yep. similar. Don't forget, when you hit a six, you can also get out. Mm. Six and out. Not if you hit it hard enough. No. Nah. So hit the neighbour's windows. <laughs> yeah, so I have, I've gone reverted to hitting a boundary there. Yep. Mm. Man, you might change that next week, though, Destroy. Mm. It's one of the criteria of the rolling twin, too. Be flexible. Um, Andrew, <laughs> wants Cameron to eat some sardines? Don't know what that's about. Now, <laughs> got Darcy Cameron and Sheldrick on field, and I've got 200K. I like English to Darcy and then Sheldrick to Keys. <sighs> Where do we sit on Keys? Oh, Is it they it's hurt. A, it's a no. <laughs> You've one, done dog. that before? Good one, dog. Yeah, I have sat on Keys. Um, <laughs> you'd like it. It's no, he's t- he's his role is changing. It changes every week. Yeah, yeah. ever in, and he's ever still somehow evolving. scores all right. I wouldn't he be did. bringing him in, but I also wouldn't be taking him out. No, yeah, that's a significant upgrade, though. You're getting Sheldrick up to him. Yes, agree. There's not really many others. I don't. Yeah, no. So I, I don't mind that. The I feel the like you're paying is, a lot for him now, though. That's the other yeah, side of it. Yeah, for sure. Could you go English to Darcy though? That was the first half, yeah. of it, wasn't it? No, because of the runs coming up. But Darcy, are you making much cash out of that? Do you really want to know what I would do in this situation? Go down to X area and then just turn no, children get an into Uber. a big dog. Yeah. I'm with you. I would be doing the same. Because then I'd be thinking, 
look, the other big dog I bring in versus him versus Hitting English six. head to head, I'd be picking the big other big dog every day of the week. Yep. Mm. So Keys is actually about the same price as your Jack Steels. Mm. Yeah, so if you could use DPP and yep. do that, that would be cool. But otherwise, yeah, I'm doing – it's a risky move, but I'm doing the ex and proper big dog. Logan's got Liam Henry or Callum Mills. I think it's got to be Mills, doesn't it? Liam Henry, though, roll again was still there. It had a tougher matchup against the Blues. That's a Well, they got matchup. beaten as well. That's the other side you, Well, it, you but. will get beaten versus the Blues. <laughs> um, it's Mills every day of the week yeah. here. You I'm not buying there. into the Henry stuff. Well, he's got 77. He got a reasonable score, really. It is. Yeah. But I'm with you. You've got to go Mills on that one. Mm. All right. Trade out Ashcroft or Sheezer if you're picking one of them. Who goes first? Sheez, just for the role. Volatility. <sighs> yes. That's the issue because, well, here's the problem. His role, if he's a defender, is so good it's not funny. Yeah. And he will average 100 through that stretch. If he's a forward... He'll average probably 70 through that stretch. If that. Ashcroft will average, what, 85? Yep. She's goes first. Does he really? Yep. This is a big flip. Yeah, it's the roll. I think it's the roll is the massive concern. It is. Yep. We need a squirt on that. I wonder yep. what Clarko wants him to do because mm. he'll be back soon. Well, he's the one that started. He started really originally him. threw him, yeah. yep. didn't he? Mm. Anyway. Um, now, the second part of Darren's question there was Bont or Merritt? Who's higher? Oh, Merit. see, this is the thing. Again, Bont is number one in the Roland 22. But I would be probably going Merritt if I was bringing someone in at the minute. So Merritt has Geelong at Geelong? Yeah. He's also got a little back-to-back combo of West Coast kangaroos coming up. He does, yep. And I will guess Bond's got Sydney and Sydney, so. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think you can go wrong with either. You can't. Go pick your favourite. You've got to split them for them, Cal. That's okay. what you're paid to do. Uh, Big bucks too, I'm I'm talking. with you. I saw your contract the other day oh, compared yeah. to mine. Far out. <laughs> and rightfully so. <laughs> um, it's Okay, Merritt then, with the West Coast-North Melbourne combo coming up. But Bond does do the, a Hawthorne-West Coast combo, <laughs> West Coast in round 23. But Bont's not the kind no, of player... he's not a bully. No, that plays against the West Coast and pumps out a 150. Merit is. Bont likes to see another heav- heavyweight in the ring. Yeah. That's when he's like... At his go. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Right, who goes first? Sheldrick or Windhager? This is for Golden Showers. It's Sheldrick, Sheldrick for me. Sheldrick goes first. Because I think we like the Saints midfield matchups as well. Bit of an inappropriate name, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I watched... <laughs> I watched Windhager the other Errol night. Golden Chows. What's that? Errol, Errol Golden Chows. Oh, right. I, uh, I watched um, Windhager the other the other night play. Did not notice him out there at all. <laughs> He's still got a 70-something. Mm. So. Well, I think there's a little bit behind that ankle injury too. Yeah. He may not play this week. Yeah. There you go. So and Sheldrick goes. Sheldrick which, goes. And that's another one that we have to make that decision on the Thursday oh, night. Thursday night. moving him out. Obviously, you can edit trade, but... Yes. Got to be smart. Yeah. Sheldrick goes first. All right. I think we're done. Cal, yeah. you don't know what time this is. Guess how long we've gone for today? Uh, a bit long. I've been pretty switched on today. Yeah, you've morning. done well. Yeah. You had to sleep in. Well, I had no choice. <laughs> you went to the airport at 4 oh, o'clock. Oh, my God. My brother, who's a complete knob, <laughs> he... <laughs> Wanted a lift to the airport at 4.30 this morning. 4.30. You just don't even ask that. 4.30. I had to get up. And knowing you, why did you say yes? That's what I can't That would have been out. like a... Oh, nah, we nah, can't, nah, 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 get... And we Odds of him saying yes to that. I oh, know, but brother of the year votes Ooh. are coming up. Yeah, you guys... So this is uh, Cow's no. family. There's four boys in there. Yeah. And you have a brother of the year. We vote on who's been, been the best brother at Christmas. <laughs> that gets you a vote there. Well, I think I've Better. got a vote. I just need to get it the other It saved him like $40 worth of parking at so, the airport. It's 40 get... bucks to get you out of bed at 4 o'clock. So, Chuck and Uber? Yeah. <sighs> well, yes. If the other brothers need to live to the airport, I've got you guys as well. <laughs> <laughs> just cost you three Anyone votes. Else? Just cost you three votes. Anyway, you could, I, I cannot believe you, you did that. Bank yourself. For hey, that. Just a nice you. guy. Well, this is what I'm finding. Just out. a nice guy. And people always say, Cow, not a nice guy. He's a jerk, but guess what? Times like this yeah. shows step up. that I can be a nice guy 
well, when I commit myself to the role. <laughs> Isaac Smith has the last question here. When's Roy's Rocket, an official podcast segment, yep. delve into the genius mind yep. and or talk through the latest miracle rocket like Stuart? Yeah. Well, we did do that. Yeah. He Isaac wants, Smith, he you wants could have more, done it out on the field with him. Isaac, Isaac wants Smith more. Even. He rightfully wants more. Yeah. More airtime for Destroy. <laughs> no, and what, what he needs there is, and we're, we need to look into this. Mm. You know how you've got captains, rolling yeah. between two, got your own button. You need yeah. a, a rocket button, and we mm. actually need to go. So what happened this week? I'll do the sound effect, yeah. thank you. No, <laughs> Come on, sound effect guy. Give us the sound effect of a rocket. Oh, I'll have to work on it. You used to that. have one, actually. Didn't you have, like, the sky rocket type one? <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. So, could be that. Not bad at all. Depends what sort of rocket you want. Yeah. That's like a firework rocket. No. I, I think it's a bit more brutal than yeah. that. So, I'll, I'll get back Ignition to Ignition launch. Mm. Five, four, oh. three, two, one. NASA. No, well, I want you to launch yeah. it. I have to work on it. It's not something you can come on the spot. No. I've, got, I've got multiple rocket noises I can make. I've got a sky rocket. God. That'd be like... That sounded like you were in the toilet this morning. <laughs> <laughs> No, there's things in the works, so though, Isaac. I'm looking to break away a little bit. I've <laughs> got some merch coming. Roy's Rocket. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I love it. Right, we're done. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in for this long. If you're still here, 80 minutes. Oh, that's, that's a, a long time. That's going to be that's, some sort of a record. That's ridiculously too long. This Sorry. This the point Sorry, of the season everyone. where we start drying up with stuff to talk about. What so. happened? That got out of hand. It did. Right. That's what happens when someone hits 2-5. <laughs> Up and about. <laughs> Thanks, Legends. We'll see you on Thursday night for the live stream from 6.15 Australian Eastern Standard Time on... Oh, go for it. AFL.com.au or via the AFL Live official app or wherever you, you listen, listen to, to podcasts. podcasts. <laughs> Thanks, Legends. See ya.